This is a quick video over doing a mass balance around an absorber with, with stage N. So let's just pick some random stage and we're going to call it N. And we're going to do a mass balance around this entire area. So what's going into it? What's the containment? We're going to do the containment mass balance. So what's the containment going in? Well that is X naught times L prime. So that just becomes a containment because that is a containment over L prime. And then when you multiply by L prime, you just get the contaminant, plus this, which is V prime times Y little n plus 1. So n plus 1 times V prime is equal to, is equal to what's going out, and that's V prime v prime times y1 plus this which is x n times l prime. Now let's solve this for y1. So we're going to solve it for y1 so we get x naught times l prime plus y n plus 1 times v prime minus x n times l prime is equal to y 1 v prime we're going to divide by v prime v prime v prime and v prime and these v's cancel out these, this V prime and this V cancel out. So we are left with X naught times L prime over V prime plus Y N plus 1 minus X N, that's supposed to be a little N, not a big N, L prime over V prime is equal to Y 1. Remember that's the that's the ratio of containment to vapor going out. So if we have to get that to a specific spot and we're stuck with say let's say we have six we have six uh just we have some arbitrary number of stages and we have to use them all, then the only thing we can change is L prime and V prime. We can change the amount of liquid going in and the amount of vapor going in. But we also know that if it's clean that's zero so then we get y n plus one plus one is equal to y one plus plus x n l prime v prime why did i write that that's actually so we can graph it and we'll actually get some useful information out of it when we uh... start graphing them I mean, this seems like what you would want. You would want this, but it's actually much more useful to write it this way and use it in a graph. So in the next video, I will start graphing, and we'll see where we get.